Hi, everyone. This is Kathy. Welcome to my channel, Kathy Mamelin, Psychic Medium. Welcome to a timeless love reading for the collective. This is for all signs and any sign that you may be thinking of. Please use this reading to manifest the love that you are worthy and deserving of or to confirm a love that's come into your life. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome to anybody that's new. So grateful spirit has guided you. This is a fully channeled message. Spirit, if you could please share with me any loving messages you have, loving energy around anyone who has found this reading today. I am listening for you now. Let's see what we have, everybody. I have enlightenment. Let goddess, uh, let the goddess light fill you. Beautiful. Look at you shining. Look at the fire sparking. Look at this beautiful energy just kind of radiating off of you. And um, I don't know, you know, so many of us are going through an awakening right now. So many of us are on a spiritual journey. Um, we're always growing. We're always learning. So let that light shine from within, you know, I mean, spirit is in you. And, and that's really all you have to know. It's just a, a part of you. And, um, and it's always kind of, you know, it comes out in the best way. So just keep tapping into that energy. I have uh, nurturance. Okay. Restore your balance, gaining back your balance, nurturing yourself. Boy, that's a hard one, right? Um, a lot of us are so busy taking care of everybody else, but you've got to take care of yourself so that this light radiates off of you. You know, do the healing work that you require. Put yourself first. Uh, do the best that you can, Spirit just said. And, and I just feel like, you know, it, it's just a sense of I, I get healthier and happier every day. And then I have a sense of sleep slowing down. For those of you that go 120 miles an hour every day. You're always doing everything for everybody else. Give your mind, body, and soul a chance to rest, okay? Because in order to attract the energy that you want in your life, the, the type of person you want to be in your life, the healthy relationships you want in your life, you've got to be your best. You really have to be your best. And spirit sharing with me now that, you know, like the sense of companion is on the way, you know, it's like a companionship energy um, just came into me. So I'm going to grab that only because I just heard that. So welcome back, everybody. Welcome to anybody that's new. Uh, please remember to hit that like and subscribe button. You guys know what to do. Comment below. would love for you to join me. Um, if you're not already a member of the channel and thank you always to my Kathy's angels. I don't, I don't give a shout out to you guys often enough for those of you that support my channel, um, and receive your weekly, um, in-depth, um, readings. They're a little bit more in depth and, and, um, they go into some other areas of your life other than just love. So thank you for that support. Let's see what we have. I've got companionship. I've got an eight of swords. I have a 10 of pentacles. I have a six of pentacles. I have a queen of swords. Boy, you know, I'm going to say this feeling of making up my mind is how it came into me. Like, it, it could be a turning point for you. It could be a um, an energy of I'm going to just make up my mind to let somebody in, all right, or to be more available or to... Um, I guess adjust my, the way that I look at how people come into my energies or what people have to offer. You know, I feel like you're making some changes within yourself, whether it's you're not as judgmental or you're more open, you are more available, spirit just said, um, because you're open to the abundance that spirit is giving you. You know, it, it's a, it's a feeling of if I put it out into the universe, it comes back to me. And whether it's an abundance of, um, your time and energy and related to, to money or material things, or it's an, um, your energy in relationships, but I feel like you're at a turning point. So you could be saying to yourself recently, like, I'm going to give somebody a chance, um, I'm going to give this person a shot, <laughs> give them a shot is kind of how I feel. Um, give them a chance. Maybe it's somebody that your first impression of them was like, this isn't the person I'd spend the rest of my life with, but you don't know them well enough or you haven't had enough time to come to that conclusion. They haven't had a chance to show you what they have to offer. So I want to see where that goes for a second. Spirit, tell me about this person. I have a five of cups. 
I have an eight of pentacles. I have a six of wands. And I have a ten of cups. Now, it's coming into me as somebody that I almost have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation. It's not like a first date where we don't know each other. I feel like I'm getting to know this person over a period of time through either their heartaches or other things. Could be a work relationship. It could be somebody that um, I'm friendly with. It could be a neighbor. It could be a friend of a friend. But I feel like I know about some of their hardships. I feel like I know what they've been going through. I've also started to see some of their successes. Like they're not where they used to be, whether it was um, you know, they they got through a divorce, they rebuilt their life, they changed things in their life that were important to change. Um, but you're also starting to see like that they're moving on and that they, they have a little bit of a success story to tell. So, but I feel like there's some kind of relationship here already. It could be just a friendship. I know them. There's somebody that I talk to, I confide in. Um, and then there's also this feeling of there's a spark there. Like, I wonder if this is somebody that I could be happy with. Like I'm, I'm thinking about this person and wondering, is this somebody I could be happy with? Is this somebody who would be interested in me? Is this somebody that is looking for um, to be in their next relationship? And because they're confiding in you somehow. So I'm going to say this person comes into your life um, before we start dating, I'm going to say it that way, all right, that we come in, you know, they come into your life as some kind of confident, we start talking, we start talking about our past, we start talking about other things, other than, you know, like, hey, do you want to go out to dinner, you know, like a formal date. So you may get to know this person, you may know this person. And, and then it's a feeling of give them a chance. Give them a chance. They're definitely they're definitely um, attracted to you. They're starting to express that they're attracted to you. And then the energy shifting. There it is. The energy is starting to say this person has been put in your life for a bigger reason. They may have come into your life for um, a different reason. They may have crossed your path uh, through a different set of circumstances, like I said, through work or through friends of friends, or they used to be married to somebody you know, but they're not married to that person anymore. Uh, maybe you dated years and years ago and, and you guys always remain friends and they've reached out to you recently. But there's been a sudden shift of of this connection. And I'm going to say that, you know, I mean, I'm going to definitely put it into the connect, the, the energy of everything happens for a reason right now. And that this person was put in your life to show you that they are part of your path and they are part of your destiny. So I'm not going to ignore this passion. All right. I, I feel like spirit saying, don't ignore, um, don't ignore <laughs> these, um, this passion. Okay. Don't ignore the passion this person has for you. Don't ignore this friendship. Don't ignore um, this companionship even that has come into you because I, I feel like they, um, they have some success. Like I said, they've changed. They're in a different place. They're opening up to you. And then there's almost this kind of like twist that says like, hey, there's something else going on here. I have a higher fan. You know, did spirit put us together for a reason to create more security in both of our lives and to be able to offer something uh, to each other? So I do feel that. I do feel like um, this person has been put in your life for a different reason. And maybe it's not how you set out. Maybe it's not um, how you first met them or what your intentions in, in were for them initially, but it's just, it's turned into something else. I'm going to go with that. I want to ask spirit when I always like to, to pull some different cards each day, if I can, when spirit don't ignore this passion spirit saying, give them a shot. Oh boy. That's always hard, right? Um, this person's been worth the wait. I like that. You know, where is my, where's my king of, pen, my king of wands? You know, the person who comes into you that says, um, 
you know, maybe we put this on hold for a little while because somebody said, I'm trying to repair my life. I'm trying to get back on my feet. I, I needed some time and space. And maybe you're just their friend, you know, maybe you're just being there for them, but you always cared for them. And, and there's always been this kind of attraction there. And now they're ready. Now they're ready. They, I'm going to say, wow, like, there's definitely a sense of like, wow, <laughs> I'm going to say, wow, worth the wait. You know, I'm, I am going to say, wow, worth the wait, you know, only because I feel this beautiful foundation. I'm going to say it that way, a, a foundation of trust or friendship, or I already know you or I'm getting to know you. So this person could come into your, this person could be in your life already for some of you. So claim it, beautiful, give them a chance. Or this is somebody coming into your life in more of a slower, slow and steady um, uh, an introduction into a, a commitment of some kind, but it came into you slowly, okay? Um, so keep that in mind. Worth the wait. I have January. That could be significant. Maybe this has been going on since January. That could be a birthday month for some of you. I have within the next nine to 10 months, we could know where this connection is headed. Is this the one? Is this the person that I want to be with? I have July. Fireworks are happening heading into, into July. Look at the fireworks. Unexpectedly and work the way. You know, there you go. You know, the person who could be right in front of you. Um, and it's just this feeling of give them a shot. You know, don't ignore this passion um, because the person who sometimes is right in front of you is the person whose spirit wants you to be with. Um, nine to 11 to 12 months. Don't get discouraged with that. That could be we could be in a totally different place. We're in love in a year from now. We are meant to be together. We're not going anywhere. And it's not too late for this connection. This connection could be right ready to turn okay so there's something going on with the sense of the energy has shifted we're going from who we are today to each other to something different or something more there's something uh, uh, those are the feelings i'm getting today spirit tell me more about this connection what is it that you need me to know what is it you want me to know I have not talking, feeling blocked. For some of you, it could be somebody that you're thinking of. Um, I will be doing a no contact. So look for your no contact collective reading. So we'll see what that says. Um, blown away, ama amazed by you. And it is unexpected, all right? This kind of shift, this kind of shift of almost a realization that there's more than what this connection is or that we both are trying to figure it out or that we both have decided we want more, a new life. I wanted to start over. I needed some time to heal. There's the cleansing happening. So this person could have put it on hold for a little while and said, you're great. I love you. I want to talk to you. We were intimate um, emotionally. We talked about a lot of things. I feel like we revealed a lot of things. Um, maybe the timing wasn't right, you know, to be in a romantic relationship, but the timing is shifting. Maybe that's why they're sharing with me, you know, that there could be some delay here. I have health, emotional issues. I wanted to feel better. I wanted to be in a better place. I needed to improve my health. You know, if there was something going on there. Um, a sucker feeling foolish or victimized, uh, you know, that somebody else took advantage of them or I just couldn't throw myself into another relationship. But I do feel like they kind of spilled their guts to you. And I do feel like you saw them go through whatever they were going through. So maybe it's just a sense of, um, you know, they just weren't ready and you knew it. And, and now the timing is better. There's a trust, there's a loyalty. And then there's that friendship. Like, you have been my friend, you were there for me. And, you know, sometimes the best people to fall in love with are somebody that you start out with as a friend, because you already have that trust, you already know something about them. And then what you're adding is the romance and the intimacy, and you're just taking it to the next level. So some of you, it could be, you know, this is something so much more bound by love, a deeper connection and a feeling of attachment, realizing, how about realizing their feelings for you? You know, just the sense of, I've realized that 
um, I do have passionate feelings for you. I do have romantic feelings for you. Um, and that's something that maybe we haven't discussed yet, but we've got to express it. We've got to say to each other that there's more going on here than just friendship, especially if we're talking intimately about our past or past relationships or some old wounds. You know, there's, we're kind of crossing the line into more of an emotional relationship. So I would say that's what's been going on. I have a beautiful home, having a home together, building a home together, um, courting man, masculine energy, professional male. I have a soulmate energy. So this feeling of I feel a great connection here. I feel like our souls are meant to be together. We've been put on this path for a reason. We were put in, in each other's lives for a reason. There's a bigger purpose. And then a union. Is this somebody that is this somebody that I can see a future with? Is this somebody that um, you know, definitely they had said worth the wait, definitely give this person a try. Don't ignore the passion. Is this somebody that's looking for something more? And it just, I'm going to say it just like started out slow, like just a slow burn of love, slow burn energy of getting to know each other. And maybe this has been going on or will go on for a little while, but ultimately I feel like we're going to end up together. So if somebody comes into your life that it, it turns into an emotional relationship of some kind and a friendship of some kind and a confidant spirit just said, I'm going to say there's something else going on here a page of wands, there's the passion coming forward, strength, beautiful, I have a 10 of wands, I've got to overcome something, this person just wants to feel like they have, um, I, I'm going to say gotten something out of their system, or more importantly, someone out of their system, all right, like there was something that they felt like was holding them back from moving on with their life, and until they felt like they were in a healthier place or a happier place, I guess they didn't want to involve you in that journey. So um, other than that on, on a friendship level, and then it's a feeling of, you know, I, I've got this out of my system. And um, yeah, it had to, you know, I had to get it out of my system. I had to get this person out of my system. Okay. So there's definitely, and I feel like you saw it. I think that you experienced it somehow. You knew that this um, kind of, whether it was a breakup or a divorce or what they were going through, I feel like you have experienced it with them or at least heard the story about it, you know, every step of the way. Um, so I feel like you're, you know, they haven't denied you that, but there is a sense of I've, I had to be in a better place. And, and then I want to move forward. So I, I do, I appreciate the person who knows themselves better than, um, than anybody. And, and they at least are honest with somebody and says, I have to work on myself for a little while until I'm ready. And then when I'm ready, I want it all. When I'm ready, I want it all. I want to give the world to somebody. I want to be happy again. I want to share a home with somebody again. I want to ha have a happy life. But they're smart enough to know themselves well enough that if they needed some some time and not to jump into a relationship and not to involve somebody else in kind of their old wounds, um, I really respect that. I really respect that. But this person is definitely ready to move forward at this point. OK, they're ready to move forward. So we've got a huge energy shift happening and a king of swords at the bottom of my deck. So a chariot and a king of swords. So this person's ready to start expressing their feelings. They're ready to start saying, you know, our friendship has meant more to me and I have some romantic feelings for you and give me a chance. <laughs> like, do you think that this could become more? Do you think that we could be more? Um, and I, I think it's going to transition into something so much more. So, you know, what do they say? Friends to lovers, you know, something like that. Let's see what the feelings are. I loved you from the moment I saw you, you know, this feeling of almost like I've, I've loved you since day one, but you came into my life at a time when I needed some healing first. I love spending time with you. That I believe, that I believe, I, I do believe that this person relies on you to a certain extent. I do feel like you may rely on them at this point as somebody that you can confide in and you look forward to talking to them, something like that. You are my best friend and lover. I feel like that is the 
the best part about this reading. It's like you could be inviting somebody's energy into your life that starts out as your best friend and then you turn into lovers. And I feel like that is really what's going on. You know, like this is this is everything about this connection is um it's just how we start, I guess. It's just how we start. And then the honesty comes forward. Let's go with this. You know, like, I want to be honest with you. You know, you are more important to me than just an intimate relationship. You know, I rely on you emotionally. You're my support. You're my rock. You listen to me go, go through some really hard times, whether it was um, you know, an end of a relationship or a, a grief would be another example. They lost somebody very, very close to them. So they weren't ready to be in a ro new romantic relationship. They had some grieving to do. Um, but you've become my best friend and my lover. And I think that that's really important. There's no one else and I only want you. So this relationship is going to take a turn. This connection is going to turn for the best, okay? It's going to turn for that somebody's been put in your life for a different reason. They came into your life for one reason, but then they turned into something so much more. And that's why Spirit's saying, don't ignore this passion. This was worth the wait. And you just found your best friend and lover. Let's put this out into the universe. I want to thank Spirit for these messages today. If you're new to my channel, um, welcome and thank you. And uh, please consider hitting that like and subscribe. Uh, comment below, everybody. I love reading your comments. I love to respond to them. If anybody is interested in a private reading, please check out my website at kathymamelinpsychicmedium.com.